welcome students today we are going to start a new chapter that is the victor poem written by long necker c w long necker okay so it's the victor is really interesting very encour encouraging and a motivational poem okay so what do you mean by victor actually victor means uh, those person who defeats enemy or opponent in a battle or in any competition okay it is a motivational poem on developing a right attitude towards resolving problem so it is very motivational poem in developing the right attitude towards solving problems okay the main theme of this poem is to have a positive outlook a goal that will that will help to achieve success in life okay so it's a very motivational poem and it's a very uh, problem resolving poem which will help to achieve success in the life of people okay so let us read the poem first okay so if you think you are beaten you are if you think you dare not you don't if you like to win but think you can't it almost a clinch you want okay so i'll be explaining this poem paragraph by paragraph so starting uh the first stanza through the first stanza what the poet wants to say is that actually the poem starts this poem with a negative tone speaking of failure if you think you are beaten okay so what do you mean by that if you think you are beaten so if you think that you will lose the match you will definitely lose the man so it's about the mindset okay if you think uh, before playing only if you start thinking that i will lose the match then you will be definitely losing it okay if you think you dare not you don't that means if you don't have courage to face the challenges then you will not be able to achieve anything in life okay and uh, next third line says if you like to win think you can't if you like to win but you think you can means you really like to win the game but your mind is not believing you then you will be not be able to win the game okay and the last line says it's almost a clinch you want that means sure to happen clinch means sure to happen if you are not determined to win then you will not win a simple task also what is important is your will power okay in that what the important thing is your will power in whatever you do so if you have a will power then uh, whatever you do it will become a success okay so this is what the poet is trying to say in the first stanza of the poem the victor okay so moving on to the second stanza it says if you think you lose you are lost for out in the world we find success begin with the fellow's will it's all in the state of the mind okay so in the second stanza what the poet is trying to say is that if you think you will lose you are lost many people uh, they want to break record in life but they can't do it because they are not aware about their potential or ability they find it too difficult to accept the challenge okay if we nurture the negative thoughts in mind then we will definitely lose it so what is the, this is what the poet wants to say in the first in the second stanza 
first line okay if you think you lose you are lost then if you nurture the negative thought at first only then there will be no success in the life you will definitely lose it okay so for out in the world we find success begin with the uh, fellows will the truth is the power of our mind that is important all in the state of mind it is important to achieve your goal which keeps motivated to achieve them okay so what the poet wants to say is for out in the world we find success begins with the failure so success always begins with the failure if you don't try only if you we'll, if you if you hesitate to try if you are afraid to try then you will never win the game of life okay this is what and you will be lost before starting only this is what the poet wants to say okay so in the second stanza what the poet actually wants to say is many people before the before the uh, they try only before trying only they break down okay they they feel that they will fail okay so the fear because of the fear that they have in their mind okay so we should not actually have that okay everyone 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 fails before getting success okay so we have to try we have to try and we have to try okay we should not have that uh, negative uh, thought in the mind that we will fail before starting the game on okay we should think positive we have that we should have that courage to to fight or to play the game of life okay then only we will be successful at last okay so it is it is the state of mind it is the it is the thinking of the people that that before trying only they give up okay so we should not have we should not have that what that is what the poet poet c w long long neck wants to say in the second stanza now we move on to the third stanza of the poem it says if you are outclassed you are you have not you have got to think high to rise you have got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win the prize okay so in the third stanza what the poet wants to say is that if you are outclassed you are outclassed means to be or to do much better than someone so our class means to do much better than someone okay you you can do more what you think okay you have to recognize your ability so you have to recognize your ability you can change the world okay that is what the poet want to say you can change the world you should have the ability and you have that ability and you you have to recognize your ability to accomplish, accomplish goal in your life okay so be optimistic about your future you have to build self confidence so you also have to build self confidence to you to fight the challenges in your life okay you you have to think high you have to be sure of yourself before you have to think positive to rise in life to become successful okay build confidence then you will definitely win the prize then you will definitely win be the successful person in life this is what the poet wants to say in the third stanza of the poem okay so moving on to the fourth and a last stanza uh, it says life battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man 
but sooner or later the man who wins is the man who thinks he can okay so what the poet wants to say in fourth stanza and the last stanza of the poem is that life is battle life is battle don't always go okay that means life he is saying that life is a battle we should not run away from it okay when bad thing happens what the people they usually ask why me why this thing is always happening to me okay why only me every time or what did i do okay so we should not have that kind of thought okay going to the bad is not bad so facing your bad things facing your bad situation is not bad it always motivate you so the bad situation okay the bad things going through the harsh condition in your life always motivates you and makes you stronger okay and faster than only at last the man will definitely win and he becomes one of the most successful person the successful person in in life okay and he also at last achieves the goal of life so we should not run away from the bad things we should not run away from any kind of harsh situation that the life gives to us we should have that courage we should have that um, power okay we should have we, should, we have to be strong to face all those kind of situation whatever the life brings in front of us so this is what and facing that only at last the person will become successful okay the person will achieve the goal of life this is what the poet is trying to say in the fourth and the last stanza of the poem so my dear students the poem ends with that and i hope everyone is clear uh, with the poem okay so your home assignment will be uploaded in the group and you have the home assignment you all have to personally send me in my personal number okay so so till then so my dear students you also have to uh, think positive you also have to be strong to face any kind of situation that the life brings in front of you so with that positive note the poem ends and uh, you all also stay home stay safe and have a nice day